So this is the Powerhouse Racing PHR B50QR Pro Mod Turbo Manifold. Uh, let me see what else it says. Dun, 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 dun. Let me see. Short, equal length primary into secondary runner design. 1.5 inch, 304 stainless, schedule 10 primaries. Hi, beautiful. What do you have going on today? I want to go to the pool because I have my bathing suit on. Oh, Jesus. We have to build a Supra. <laughs> Well, I put my bathing suit on me all by myself. All right, and what's up with the high heels? Bathing suit and high heels? Mm -hmm. All right, I like your style. I respect it. <laughs> Race family. Hope you guys are all doing incredible. Today is August 19th. Florida 2K is like six weeks away. But there's still a bunch of work that's got to get done to the car. I would love to test. I would love to dyno. There's lots of work that has to get done, and I've waited till the very end. I took this car apart months ago, and I've dragged my feet. I've avoided it by all cause. We have a newborn. We have lots of cool. We bought a new house. We've been busy with a lot of stuff, and the car has been neglected. On and off, I've worked on it a little bit. I've done some filming on and off that I've never even edited and uploaded to you guys. I may show you some of that content maybe here and there, but for now, I have to just start today and stay motivated and get this thing done. Let me show you guys this badass exhaust manifold that Powerhouse Racing built for our car. This is a one of one. They've never built this before. This is the Powerhouse Racing, I forget what they call it, but basically this is a two to one, is that what it's called? So basically these three back cylinders go to this big two inch collector here. You know what, let me get this light, check this out. Can you see that well? Oh yeah. Look how nice that is, man. Powerhouse Racing absolutely kills it. So this thing is a work of art. We have EGTs. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna do that right now. You guys know me and sensors don't get along, but I figured I'd order it with the EGT bungs already on there in case I ever did it down the road. But anyhow, this exhaust manifold is badass and it's perfect for a Pro Mod 88 XPR precision we're putting on here. So let's get after it, baby. All right, I figured I'd clear this up. I looked it up. These are actually 1.5 inch primary. So these guys here are 1.5 inch primary uh, and these are two inch secondaries. So this is the Powerhouse Racing PHR V50QR Pro Mod Turbo Manifold. <laughs> Alright guys, quick first glance of our new turbo here on our YouTube channel. I've shown this turbo off on Instagram, but never here on YouTube. This, I mentioned it earlier, this is our brand new Precision XPR 88. This thing is bad to the bone. It's got the uh, ballistic cover in the front. It's all like billet here in the center section. Super nice. Stainless steel back housing. Guys, this thing is a beast compared to what we had before. It's like I forget what, like 15 pounds heavier or 20 pounds heavier? I forget now, but it's significantly heavier than what we had before. So now I'm gonna take off this back housing really quick so I can already mock this up on our exhaust manifold. Make sure it's all gonna fit nice. Uh, this exhaust manifold was created on a 2JZ at Powerhouse Racing in a Mark IV chassis. So in this chassis car, so I know it'll clear fine but they mentioned I would have to shave off one of these little stubs on the back housing. So I'm not sure which one it is, so I wanted to just mock this up really quick and see how it looks. And also, earlier I mentioned this was a one of one. It is, it's the first of its kind, but they will be selling this to the public. So if you guys like how it looks, soon you'll know how it's performing, but if you guys like it, reach out to Powerhouse Racing, tell them you want the Baltic Special, baby. You guys know the deal. All right, let me keep working on this. But anyhow, new turbo, thing's a beast. Should be rated at 2,000 horsepower, so we'll have plenty of turbo now to keep cranking this thing up. Let's see. All right, guys. This is a quick look at how it's going to be set up. This thing, again, is massive. That's just the back housing. Imagine when the whole front cover's on. It's going to be pretty freaking wicked. But anyhow, there's that little stub I'm going to need to get trimmed off to be able to fit the turbo properly. It's one of these guys. It's like a little support for additional brackets. This one's already trimmed down really nice. But I don't think that one's really going to bother much. But this one here... Got to get that trimmed right off. You can see it there. All right, so let's work on that and we'll continue. I have my boy Christian. Christian's coming over. He's got a 
really fast Coyote Mustang. He's raced at, a, he's actually pulling in right now. He's raced at a lot of our race family track takeovers that we do at, Pomp at PBIR. He's competed at those. Him and I have had some pretty crazy races at uh, maybe Florida 2K or some events at Bradenton, man. But one time, him and I both made it to the finals. And at the time, we both had cars that were running like 770s, 780s, somewhere in that ballpark. And Christian, oh, hey, let me tell you like this. And I might play the clip here in this video. I love that race, man. Him, him and I, I mean, I wish it would have been a better race, but it was a crazy outcome. It was a crazy week of racing. And at the very last race, at the time I was still running my Toyota parts, I blew my transmission. So I leave the line, broke the transmission. I see him just run away from me. He runs like a 770. He was on a killer pass, 180 some miles an hour. I thought I lost. We get to the end. He's all bummed, man. He red lit just by a little bit. He went like point, or negative point zero zero two or three. It was a minimal red light but he lost and they paid me the money. Here we go. Again, Christian Murillo, your number two qualifier at Vero Beach, Florida. 2011 Mustang, Pedro Malian, number five qualifier, Lake Worth, Florida in the Super. Got two Jay-Z under the hood. And what, like we said, this is what we came to see. Final round. Real Street Performance Streetcar Shootout Import on the right domestic in your left lane. Pendiente, miente que levantó las patitas en la ronda anterior. La máquina de Pedro Malagón. Estamos gozando. They're, they're waiting on Marilla to pre-state. They're pre-states. Here we go. Building up the boost. <laughs> was double O three red. But anyhow, he's a good dude, really fast car, and he's here today. He's a great fabricator as well, and he's been helping me create a catch can for the rear of the Supra. So I've always ran my catch can in the front. I had the little coolant overflow right beside the radiator, and the fear with that stuff is, man, if we hurt the engine, if we hurt the cooling system, if anything happens, it can make a mess in front of the rear tires, and it can be, can cause a big accident. So I'm gonna push my, my coolant overflow to the trunk, my, my oil catch can to the trunk, or pushing all that to the back. And today we're gonna be, he already created it, we're gonna be mounting it to the Supra, we're gonna be cutting into my hatch. Let me turn this off so you can hear me better. I recently bought a punching bag and I've been working out in the mornings. I got massive over here. But anyhow, today we're gonna be cutting into this carbon a carbon fiber deck lid to get the exit. So we have a two inch exit hole here on the on the hatch. So he's actually gonna help me do some of that work. And I guess we'll film that as well. We'll film that. We'll film some a little bit of work on the engine. Yeah, we've been doing little swiggles here in the dust, thinking about making a little cutout right here just to have it vent to the rear. I'm excited for that. It's Race family event. Oh, you know what? I'll share this too. There's a massive mess in here. We've only lived in this home for, I don't know, five months or so. We've never had a garage that looks like this. But with the newborn and everything we got going on, there's very little time for nothing. But good news is we got a good sized backyard and where you see those plants right there, that's me kind of just measuring. I've already gone ahead and ordered a huge shop to put in the back. It'll be a shop big enough to house our motor home, house or trailer, have a lift. So pretty soon we'll be, we'll be set. Chris, you're not camera shy, are you, my brother? What's going on? That's my boy. I was talking to the race family about oh, that right. time I uh, kicked your butt when you red lit. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah. that can looks large. Yeah, I always love donating to friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> love it. All right, let me get this shit out of the way. Yeah, no worries. Put this over here for now. I was saying a minute ago, dude, like when I started my YouTube channel like three years ago, right. the main reason I did it was to hold me accountable to working on the car. Right. The second you have people kind of reaching out to you, asking questions, yeah, stuff. to keep you motivated, they're expecting more uploads. Like it really got me in high gear three, four years ago, and now I need that more than ever with yeah. the baby and everything else we got going on. Oh yeah, I'm not making no time for the car. Life doesn't doesn't stop, does it? Well, you know what? I got a fan today. Last time we were sweating <laughs> crazy. Yeah, no, no worries. Uh, I think I brought the 
album came out. And you said that came out to like two and a half gallons or so? Yeah, it's like 2.43. Yeah, solid. It's just under two and a half. Solid. And, uh, yeah, it should work awesome. All the welds from the inside, and that looks yeah, crazy clean. Look a little cleaner, oh, you know? It looks gorgeous. And then we'll we'll mock up the discharge. I don't know what the offset will be. Yep. You know, as far as where we need to end up and where we want to exit. So. All right. We'll have to probably do it in two steps. We'll have to get it mounted. Right. And then mock this up so we know it's perfect. Okay. We don't want to be cutting it and redoing it. So. Got it. I'd rather, you know measure twice and cut once we can just come off with a couple tabs yep here and over there or even on the sides and i i went with a two in now my dog is <laughs> thundering outside and this dog just shows up Oh, he's licking me. Calm down, buddy. Yep. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take. Well, they got a tag. Or at least a collar. A tag. There's nothing on there. Mm -hmm. Going backwards? Yeah, you always go backwards. So hard. Really? Yeah. Learn something new every day. Little by little, I won't have a lot of time each day, but hopefully I put a couple of hours in a day and get some progression done to this, get to it.